Chris Christie has officially endorsed Donald Trump as the Republican candidate. And recently during a rally, uh, Trump was caught on a hot mic telling Chris Christie something that raised a few eyebrows. Take a look. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. What just happened? It's incredible, especially because Chris Christie likes to be boastful about how he's this tough guy. And to watch him be told, get on the plane, go home, is just so incredibly embarrassing. That, that's like De Niro in Heat. Clean up, go home. Clean up, go home. Yeah. Right? And so Christie just endorsed him. And Christie was an establishment candidate for him to take the, to take the risk. And after all the bad things about he said about Trump during the race, to so turn around and endorse him. And people are like, oh, I wonder why he did it. We know why he did it. He wants to be his vice president. Yes. But that's what I told you. All these guys and why Donald Trump is winning is because all these other Republican politicians, even if they pretend to be tough guys like Chris Christie, are just order takers. They got into the positions they did by pleasing the donors. You know how you please donors? By saying, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Absolutely, sir. So all he did was just bow his head to Trump in this case and go, yes, sir, absolutely, sir. And then for Trump, after the endorsement, to send him packing like that, oh, how wonderfully miserable. Let's watch it again. It's incredible. Oh. It's incredible. Oh, that felt good, schadenfreude. Okay, the two, my two favorite parts, everything about it is gold, but uh, well, like he like li almost literally pushes him yes. towards the plane, and he says it's over there. Like like he knows where the plane is. He's saying, hey, hey, hey it's over there. Go home already. Like you're 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 in my spotlight. Okay, you did your job. You served me well. Pack up. Go home. Oh, it's almost as embarrassing as when this happened to Jeb. You're kicking me out the door. You're kicking me out the door. <laughs> So that's now two Republicans who've been kicked out the door. Oh, <laughs> poor Christie. No, 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 <laughs> Not no. like, I don't, Chris I don't Christie. actually feel bad for him, but like he just looks like such a clown in that video. I love it. Now, you remember the other embarrassing video about Chris Christie where he was trying to hug Jerry Jones in the middle of a football game and he couldn't even quite get Jerry Jones to hug him back? See, but that's who Chris Christie is. He, there's a great term for this. They, they're kicked down kiss up guys. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and they're the worst people on the planet. People who kick people who are lower than them. So Chris Christie made his reputation in New Jersey by bullying average citizens and by bullying reporters. Hey, shut up. I'm, I'm going to tell you what to do. Yelling at little grandmas on the boardwalk. Mm -hmm. That's how he made his reputation as a tough guy. But when there's someone he actually uh, you know, is above him in the Republican pecking order, like Jerry Jones, uh, give me a hug, Jerry, right? And then with Donald Trump, like, okay, sir, I did a good job, right? Oh, that, oh yeah, that, I know, that's why my plane is over there, okay, right away, right? <laughs> that's who Chris Christie is, bitch. Oh, damn. Get in the plane and go home. Get over there.